participants we are into the second leg of the experiments we are going to understand the attenuation properties for gamma radiation field by materials which are interposed it can be also said as a shielding material the materials interposed between the source and the human subject when we are talking about radiation alpha beta which are particulates they do not pose much radiation field can easily be intercepted so shielding aspects when we are seeing when we are speaking about we do not normally talk in terms of alpha as a shielding material uh, to be employed for alpha radiation for beta radiation some shielding material we normally do not speak of course a paper or a plastic or aluminium foil etc can be used for respectively alpha radiation to be cut off or for beta radiation to be cut off respectively with the paper and metallic foils but we are not going to do during the course of this experiment on alpha radiation or on beta radiation similarly neutron another particulate radiation can also be attenuated shielded but again it is not in the scope of this experiment but be informed that in case of neutron we will be making use of hydrogenous material like alkathene like polythene like paraffin like oil or water which can be used but again be informed that we are not going to talk about neutron radiation during this experiment we are again going to focus on gamma radiation electromagnetic photons and during this we are going to make use of cesium 137 by virtue of its gamma emission property intensity of radiation by the attenuating material the thickness of the material they follow the empiric formula i is equal to i0 exponential negative mu the attenuation coefficient multiplied by the thickness thickness of the chosen attenuating material so i is equal to i0 exponential negative mu into thickness so here our experiment is going to be with chosen denser material say lead varying the thicknesses smaller thickness to increasing the thickness to slightly increasing further the thickness how there is a reduction in intensity we are going to follow we can reduce the radiation intensity to 50% of its original value that thickness of the material is called half value layer half value layer thickness hvl otherwise it is said similarly by making use of marginally different distance difference uh, different thickness we will be able to reduce the original intensity to factor of 10 or reduce to 10% of the original intensity we call that thickness as the half value layer so 10th value layer is that thickness of the chosen material to reduce the intensity by a factor of 50% so it is reduced to, to half the original value 10th value layer of that material is that thickness of the material which reduces the radiation field to 10% or 1/10th of its original value again half value layer and 10th value layer can be among them correlated if i am making use of two half value layers i will reduce by a factor of 50% and 50% of 50% that is 25% or 
in simple arithmetic four times reduction. So employing two half value layers reduces the intensity by a factor of four. If I am making the thickness tripled thrice. So the intensity reduction will be 50 percent, 50 percent of 50 percent, 50 percent of 25 percent that is 12.5 percent of the original intensity by employing three half value layers. It is reduced by a factor of 8. So one half value layer brings down by factor of 50, by a factor of 50 percent I mean half. Second half value layer brings it by a factor of 4, 25 percent of the original intensity. Third half value layer has brought down by a factor of 8, 12.5 percent. But we are interested in 10 percent. So we need to increase the thickness of the material beyond three half value layers. Let us understand what happens during the fourth half value layer. If I am making use of the first, the second, the third and the fourth as a sandwiched shielding material, the reduction intensity will be half, one fourth, one eighth and becomes one sixteenth. One sixteenth as all of us are aware is 6.25%. So by making use of fourth half value layer of the attenuating material, I have overshot by reducing to 16 times smaller rather brought down to 6.25%. So between the third half value layer and the fourth half value layer, we will have to make some modification that the reduction is exactly by 10%. So for this we will have the half value layer to 10th value layer correlation is 3.33 times half value layer will be the 10th value layer. So HVL for a given material will be 3.33 times the half value layer of that given material. In practice when we are doing experiments in laboratory or on field, the attenuation is brought in picture, shielding aspect is brought in picture, suitable thickness of the attenuation material, attenuating material is employed thereby reduction any desired value can be brought in. Normally in laboratories we make use of glass for viewing, we make use of lead glass in case of attenuation thereby viewing is also not compromised, attenuation property is also taken care. But when we are keeping any source when it is not in use, we keep it in containers which have got good attenuation characteristics. Lead container is one where all these sources after their desired work is kept in. So the radiation field is largely reduced or we make use of some cavity in case of uh, large sources in irradiator. They are stored under water or they are kept under cooled atmosphere in concretized blocks. Depending upon the attenuation, the economy, we will make use of different material, lead or lead glass or water or concrete with air for cooling the decay heat, thereby attenuation can be taken care. Desired radiation field at the working place can be reduced by suitable thickness of chosen good dense attenuating medium. Predominantly we make use of lead during transport of radioactive material. Smaller amount of thickness is employed when the amount of activity to be transported is less. If the source is of a higher intensity, higher radiation field, then 
the thickness that is brought in in case of lead will be larger. So attenuation we are going to do in this experiment and understand the reduction in intensity is by virtue of increasing the thickness of a chosen good dense attenuating medium. Lead is chosen in this because I want to show in this the attenuating property of a denser medium all of us are aware that lead of higher atomic number higher density serves as a better attenuating medium. Let us go into the practicals. Now we are going to take the rating for second experiment that is the attenuation of the gamma radiations. As in first experiment the distance is not a factor of the energy but here the attenuation is the factor of the energy. The, as the energy increases the attenuation factor of the different medium will get different. So here we are taking the shielding material as a lead and we are taking the as uh, sir told you half value layer and tenth value layer half value will uh, if we apply the half value layer the dose rate will reduce by the 50 percent if we apply the uh, tenth value layer the dose there will be dose rate reduction will be the uh, around 90 percent 10 percent of the original value so here we will take first the, the half value layer of the lead with cgm 137 source with the energy is the 662 kev if there is another source say iridium 192 or cobalt uh, 60 the this half value layer of the lead will be changed it will not be the same for the all the gamma energies it is the function of the gamma energy okay so we will take now we are applying the half value layer for the cgm 137 source and we are taking the reading with open source we take the reading at one meter distance which was showing around 590 mr per hour so here we are again at same distance we are applying the uh, shielding of half value layer of the lead that you can see the reading is coming around 308 mr per hour theoretically it should be the 295 mr per hour right 590 mr per hour original value was there the 50 percent reduction is the, it's the 295 mr per hour here you are seeing that there is a 306 mr per hour that is due to always there will be the build up factor which is contributing the additional dose rate. Now we are taking second reading. We did not change any distance and we applied now 10th value layer of the lead for the same source CJ137. We did not change any uh, distance. Uh, distance is the same 1 meter distance from the source. Now we are uh, applying the 10th value layer of the lead. Now you can see the, uh, with the applying the 10th value layer the radius there will be reduction in the uh, dose rate is 90 times uh, of the you will get 10 uh, 10 percent of the original reading that is the 590 you will get only 59 mr per hour at same distance with applying the 10th value layer of the lead so you can see the reading it's around 61 mr per hour so by applying the 10th value layer the reading uh, there is a reduction in the dose rate this is the attenuation of the as we applied the denser medium the attenuation will be more the, there will be better shielding material that will be the participants now we have carried out the experiment with the lead as the attenuating medium as i mentioned a high dense material lead by virtue of its high atomic number qualifies that was employed during this experiment the thickness was marginally enhanced. We chose smaller thickness medium initially. We saw the reduction in intensity. We made it in a higher quantum. So we understood that half value layer is for lead is corresponding millimeter thickness of the material. And then when we made the thickness more, we could achieve the reduction in intensity by a factor of 10, 10 percent of the original value. So in this process what we have understood during the experiment is lead is a good attenuating material, attenuation coefficient is higher. Thickness of lead can be improved upon 
depending upon the desired reduction in radiation field. If we want to reduce the radiation field by a factor of 4, we have to make use of 2 half value layers. If I want to increase the reduction, if I want to enhance the reduction by a factor of say 50 times, then I will make use of 3 half value layers and 1 tenth value layer. Something like this, 3 half value layers will reduce by a factor of 8 and 1 tenth value layer will reduce by a factor of 10. Combination of this will give reduction by a factor of 80. Since 50 I said 50 cannot be uh, neither a direct multiple of 2 nor multiple of 10. So, we have to do in that manner. Another important factor in this is whenever we are talking about attenuation, be informed that we speak in terms of mono energetic gamma radiation. If the gamma radiation is a mixture, it is due to cesium, it is due to cobalt, it is due to iodine 31, then in that case this principle may not be directly coming into picture. There will be a reduction in intensity, but there will be always a marginally 10 percent to 20 percent higher value which we call that as the build up factor. So, whatever experiment we have done, we have done with a single radioisotope cesium-137 isotope, but in radiation field if the source is multiple, different energied, then this concept of half value layer or tenth value layer being a specific value as per the experiment will not be applicable. So, there will be always a scattering, there will be always a factor more by 10 percent or 20 percent which we call as build up factor. Of course, we have not spoken about build up factor during the course of our experiment because we have made use of a single radiation source of mono energetic behavior. But in practice, you may come across different radioisotopes of different energy spectrum of energies then in that case a simple arithmetic formula of i is equal to i 0 e power minus mu x may not be applicable. There will be always a marginal 10 to 20 percent higher component which we call that as the build up factor. In precise half value layer we have understood that thickness of the material which reduces by a factor of 2 which reduces to 50 percent of the original intensity. Tenth value layer is that thickness of the same material which reduces by a factor of 10 reduces by 10 percent of the original value. So, half value layer and tenth value layer can be correlated some 3.33 times the half value layer becomes the tenth value layer. You can make use of different material like concrete, like lead glass, like water even depending upon the economy thickness of the material will differ, you can have attenuation characteristics will be different. So, the thickness of concrete, thickness of lead they will differ by we will be able to achieve half value layer thickness of concrete, half value layer thickness of water, gamma sources in irradiators or with the concrete in air cooling or with the water immersion with the corresponding engineered safety features are done for attenuation. Nucleonic gauges with employing smaller amount of radioactivity you will predominantly come across attenuation properties of lead you chosen with half inch thickness or one inch thickness during the transport of these nucleonic gauges. They are well shielded safety parameters are involved. However, when you are going to carry out any handling to increase the safety, you can always keep distance along with some suitable shielding material. You can keep some smaller lead uh, foils thereby the exposure to the external exposure concept to the person who is handling can be reduced. Predominantly easier one is increasing distance and second one is 
by employing a suitable thickness of chosen shielding material, attenuating material. Thank you.